What's up, dude? I'm sure you've seen some of these videos here on YouTube that have millions upon millions of views. You never see anybody's face. It's always just like a pair of hands with super peaceful music and text on screen. Today, we're gonna put one of these recipes to the test in my series. We'll see about that. Now let's go! Today's recipe is coming from the YouTube channel Lekera Kushi? Kushé. Kushé. I, I think it's German. If you're German, please let us know. We don't wanna say it how we think it's supposed to be said. And I can't believe, for God's sake, that I'm actually doing this. Marcus wanted to do this. You want why do you want to I think it's a good recipe. It's this spaghetti BS. There's no way this is gonna be good. As always, we're blind reacting to this for the first time. God. It might be the dumbest looking recipe on the internet. You wrap ground beef around spaghetti. All right, let's watch the video. I'm just so against baking dried spaghetti. I worked for some good Italian <laughs> chefs, and so I can just hear them yelling in my ear right now. We're not gonna knock it till we try it. I hope it's great. Starting with some sad dried rosemary. That's all I use. I'm a little bit smug when it comes to food. I can't help it. I'm not a huge fan of dried herbs, although for some things, but mostly I'm all about fresh. And I'm a trash garbage pig boy, so this is in my wheelhouse. It's perfect for Marcus. He's bald now too. He made me do it if for work. If you wanna work here, you kind of have to be bald. You mix the beef with, with the spices and herbs. As is tradition, you wrap the I meat might around the spaghetti. I might have you do that, dude. This is so I'll do it. I could do it, I could do that. This is a classic Italian dish. On the hills, where's a, where's a place in Italy? Uh, R Rome. Rome. Why don't you just brown all the beef perfectly so it gets a lot of flavor, cook the spaghetti on the side so it's perfectly cooked in some salted water, mix everything together with the sauce. Mm -mm. You know what I mean? Like, it seems like you're going out of your way to make something that sucks. I like my pasta two different textures. It's a cool looking pepper. It's a nice looking pepper, yeah. It's, I'll, I'll give it that. It's like, like very Christmassy. We're just... These cooks are snobs, just total snobs. But this is too far. It has 10 million views though. 10 million this views. This is the whole point of this channel. If this is good, we'll tell you it's good. I'm gonna give it a proper rating. I always just call it how I see it. I just feel like the pasta is not cooking evenly, right? Cause the beef is still cold in the middle. So like the middle of the pasta isn't cooking while the outside is. That's already for me a bad start. And just pour the onions. Yeah, that makes sense. Ladybug spatula though. What did you cue? What do you got? What do you a, got? I got a TikTok spatula. You can't even buy these. It's a piece of crap. This thing comes off all the time. I hate it. It's been like six months of me trying to get him this to do this. This does make me mad. <laughs> this makes me really mad. I can't roll back my eyes any further into my head. Two ice lawfuls tomato and markenspawning. Felt pretty perfect to me. One esolaf of sour rum. <laughs> That is not a nice color. Pour in your strawberry milk. God, this is the worst color. I've been for this and no. pretty revolting of a color. God. Mm, mm, mm. I didn't think I was gonna hate it as mm, much as I do. Mm, mm. I'm from New York, I've had a lot of Italian food and this is right on par with the good stuff. This looks like something you would make for someone as a as a joke. Okay, that, it doesn't looks, like it, that doesn't look as bad. It looks better now. Obviously it's been cooking for a while. Oh my God. A little God. glimmer of hope this for might, me. This might be it an looks, underdog. But like, wh how do you even eat that? What do you do, pick up the thing and suck down the pasta like a pelican? I don't understand. On a plate, it doesn't look great again. Just eat it straight out of the pan. It looked better out of the pan. Back on the plate, back on the plate again. Back on the plate again. Let's have a look at this. Show, show it to us. Oh, if you don't show it to us, I'm gonna be pissed. Damn it! <laughs> Why would you do that? Oh, the mystery continues. Oh, I wanted to see a cross cut. I want to see one of these channels where they actually take a bite and give us a reaction. Yeah, they went. They never. They went like this. They're like, oh, and then they look straight to the trash yeah. and they just dump it out. All right, that's it. Is it worth 10 million views? Let's go cook this thing. I, damn it! No! So they use dried rosemary and salt. I happen to have a little bit of rosemary salt, if you know, you know, in the fridge. So I'm just using that. I just don't have dried rosemary, so that will have to do. They don't have amounts either, so I'm just guessing smoked paprika. A little bit of Sajant Gilbert reporting for duty, my little friend, my little sentient black pepper friend. Some people were complaining in the comments about not having seen him in the while, so he's here. He's not going anywhere. Do as much or as little pepper as you like. What am I saying? Nobody's gonna do this. Don't make this. I mean, I'll tell you at the end, I don't think you should make this. This sucks. This sucks. I can't believe what I'm doing with this beef. Just gonna give this a really good mix. Sorry, ground beef. Like, he could have had a good life. You know? All right, Marcus, come down, dude. I don't want to do this alone. Now I get oh, to do the creepy glove thing. Yeah, do the creepy glove thing. Wait, I gotta do the face. All right, so. What's this technique? We're gonna make three balls out of this. Now, what you wanna do is you just take your left hand. Left hand. Get a third of the spaghetti. Oh, wait, put the spaghetti back. Flatten it out. I forgot. Mm -hmm. Great technique. That was really loud. That sounded like a firework. Okay, nice and flat. <laughs> That's actually how they make fireworks. Now take your right hand and take a third of your spaghetti. We're just gonna just place that in. Now look at that. Isn't that nice? I can't believe I'm doing this! 
Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know how it was actually gonna feel when I performed this move. I feel worse than I thought I was gonna feel. This is hard. You gotta practice this. Do this a couple times. It's not hard. Make Marcus this a lot. is making a big deal out of it, dude. I'm scared of the spaghetti. Are you scared you're gonna break the spaghetti? Look what we're doing. You're scared you're gonna break Stop it? Stop shaking it at me like that. It's weird. Hey! There it is. This is that's pretty. Marcus, I don't know what else to say about this, except it's weird, it's strange, kind of like that dude who keeps showing up on the doorbell cam. I don't know what his deal is, but he needs to stop immediately. You home? This is in the trash, I helped myself. I don't know why I tossed this thing. All right, let's cook these little abominations. So, a little bit of cooking oil down. That's just avocado, medium heat pan. What if it's just so good? What if it's just so good, huh? And here we go. Ah, oh, God. It smells good, but that's only because it's searing ground beef. It speaks nothing to the recipe. All right, if these are brown, I'm gonna give them a turn. They're brown and all right. I hate everything about this. This is making me so mad. Oh. I hate this. this, is so dumb. To be quite honest with you, this viral spaghetti recipe is starting to get under my skin. I might even need some therapy after this one, which is why this is a good time to introduce you to today's sponsor, BetterHelp. If you feel like something is holding you back in life, whether it's a serious clinical mental health issue like anxiety or depression, or you're simply just navigating a rough patch in life, therapy can be a really helpful tool for you. And I speak from personal experiences. I've been going to therapy now for over three years and it's honestly been a game changer. It's kind of like exercise I have seriously never had a therapy session I've regretted. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible. And they really recognize that finding a therapist that's right for you in your specific area can be a great challenge. With BetterHelp, you can get therapy through phone calls, video calls, or even text messages. And you can also schedule those therapy sessions at a time that is really most convenient for you with your schedule. Just simply answer a few questions and BetterHelp will match you with a therapist that suits your specific needs. And just remember that finding the right therapist really is the most important part of this whole process. So if you don't click with your first match, no worries at all. BetterHelp lets you switch to a new therapist at no extra cost. Asking for help in life is truly empowering, my friends, and I highly recommend you give BetterHelp a shot. You can click the link down in the description. Not only does this support the channel, but it will give you a 10% discount off your first month with BetterHelp. Again, you can click that link down in the description to learn more. Thank you so much, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this video, and thank you for your positive impact in the world. Now let's get back to the recipe. All right, now I'm putting in the onions. Let me just say, from a culinary standpoint, this makes no sense. The spaghetti is getting all golden brown and drying out on the sides. The inside's probably still just untouched by the heat. The onions have nowhere to cook because there's a bunch of in this general area right here. All right, next some peppers going in. Look, look at this. Does this make sense to anybody, what I just did? My question to you is, how is that pepper cooking right there? And lastly, our tomatoes. Then they add a little more salt. Something is burning. Can't say I'm surprised. Oh look, I could smell something burning in some of my pasta underneath. Turn that off for now, I guess. When you make this, just make sure you just get the burnt pasta off the bottom, because that's gonna happen. Since Marcus loves this recipe so much, a little snack. Hey, go ahead, just take a little bite. Mm. Right out of the middle, too. Yeah. The flares are all there. Ah! Oh! <laughs> yeah. It's actually... No, You're right, shut so... up. Dude, it's actually really good. Let's make that sauce, tomato paste. Sauce will save it. A little bit of sour cream. Oh yeah. Give that a nice little mix. And in we go with the water. A nice chicken blood colored sauce. Does anybody here like a weed whacker, like a chainsaw, like a leaf blower? Yeah, I cleared some leaves up. You can just Venmo me whenever. All right, let's put our sauce on. Just to be fair, this is what Marcus wanted. Marcus wanted me to do this. Now, cover, simmer on low heat for like 25 minutes. All right, 25 minutes later. I flipped it as it was cooking. I did the little thing with the fork. So she said 250 mils of water, which is just a little more than a cup. All the water is gone, sucked up by the pasta. I even added another half cup of water as this cooked and it's still, you know what? I'm not even gonna tell you how to fix it. Just don't do this. Let's see if this can fix it. This is Pecorino Romano cheese. This is from Italy, this is the good stuff. If Romano can't save it, it's doomed. Heat back on, cover it back up just for a few minutes to melt the cheese. All right, there we go. A little parsley to finish. You know what's funny is like, you, you can't go out in the world and find this anywhere. Like you, you have to make this kind of bullshit at home. It almost looks good with the parsley. <laughs> almost looks good. Okay, Marcus, come on down, dude. The finest silverware. Here you are, sir. Oh, yummy, yummy. Looks great. 
Can I have a little bit of extra sauce on it? No. <laughs> Oh yeah, slop me up. It's funny how covering stuff in cheese and grains can make it look not as bad. Oh, and before you try that, I wanna read a couple comments. I wanna see what the people think about this, okay? Looks great, this is a must for tea tonight. What an amazing recipe, and yes, it does look pretty for a dinner party. Oh, let's, let's find how one more. How do we more. skip over, the guy's gonna pair this with tea? The meat <laughs> must not be packed too tightly around the noodles to allow the broth or liquid to get inside to cook the noodles inside to the same degree as those on the outside. You know what makes more sense than that comment? Not putting meat around spaghetti in the first place. Like, as soon as you do that, you've already gone, you've gone down the wrong road, dude, and then crashed into a wall. Yeah, but what if it's good? I wanna cut through the middle. Dude, mine, mine just fell, fell apart. apart. Yeah, mine, mine fell apart yep, immediately. Mine fell apart. I'm gonna try the noodles first that were in the middle. Don't lie, they're perfect, you gotta say. Mm-mm, they're not perfect. Ugh, a very dry experience. Um, nothing's cooked right. Ugh. And that's not our fault. The recipe wants you to not cook anything right. Don't do it this way at all. The pasta that was in the beef isn't cooked. It's like chewy and weird. I'd rather eat dry pasta than eat that. There's nothing wrong with the pasta that's like cooked right, the one that's along the outside, although a lot of it is cooked unevenly, some of it is even burned. Let me say this, there's nothing wrong with the flavors here, right? Tomato, onion, pepper, cheese, like, there's nothing wrong with that. If you wanna do this, just brown the meat off first, throw in the vegetables. Cook that down next. Then throw in your tomato paste. Then throw in your sauce. While that's happening, you're cooking your spaghetti on the side in salted boiling water. Put the pasta in with the sauce. A little ladle of pasta water. Toss, toss, toss. Cook it up. Finish with some fresh cheese. A little parsley. It'll be 10 times better. This is unnecessary. You're going out of your way to make something that sucks. Why? More work for something that sucks? It's really good. I love it so much. That's gonna get a 1.3 out of 10 for me. Our lowest score by far ever. It might be our lowest score that ever happens on this show ever. I'll give it a 5.1 because it tastes That's good. That's ridiculous. My scale's all taste. Thanks for watching today, my friend. And if you didn't know, I just released an ebook with 55 of my favorite recipes over the last four years. We also have some sweet merch now available for purchase. And if you want to keep learning today, here are two more Italian pastas from my own channel that are actually good. Until next time, you know I love you in a mouth.